My name is Catherine Flood, and I'm a curator in the library's Prints and Photographs Division at the Library of Congress. When you're thinking about history, images just enter the bloodstream so quickly. They offer something sort of uniquely compelling in relation to text or books. So this is an Army recruiting poster from World War I. The date is 1917, and the artist is James Montgomery Flagg. He was a leading American illustrator. He was well-known, a celebrity, well-paid, and he was working as a volunteer when this was printed for the Division of Pictorial Publicity, which is an arm of Woodrow Wilson's Committee on Public Information. We hear the word iconic a lot, but it really applies here. When you think about Uncle Sam as a national symbol, chances are really strong you might think of this one. And I think there are a lot of good reasons for that. It's really been an incredibly enduring image. It was used extensively during World War I. It was repurposed during World War II, and you still see artists today referencing it. It's really part of our sort of cultural history in a, in a big way. So it actually debuted in July of 1916 on the cover of Leslie's Weekly magazine. This is before the, the draft is actually in operation, and then it gets repurposed for World War I. And it's, I want you for U.S. Army, so it's the quintessence of confrontation. Imagine yourself back in, in the time period in 1917, so these posters were plastered everywhere. In the flow of your daily life, you would have encountered them. You would have encountered them in schools, in libraries, in theaters. A wonderful story that goes along with this poster is that the artist, Flagg, said that he used his own face uh, as the model. Everything about it says, you know, hey you, yes you, I'm talking to you. And I think that's part of its enduring power. It really is very immediate, it's very urgent, it's very simple. There's a minimal text, and at the bottom it's, it's interesting, it says near, nearest recruiting station, and so you could have added the address at the bottom, and you see it, you have the message, you know what the action is, you go and you sign up. If you're able to come to Washington to our reading room and you request it, we'll bring it out to you and we'll lay it on the table and you can spend quality time up close and personal. If you need quick access from anywhere in the world, you just go to our online catalog and because this is a public domain image, you can go and search for flag, Uncle Sam, poster. There it is, JPEGs, TIFFs, and a full beautiful catalog record, and lots of documentary images that show the posters in situ during World War I, which is kind of, you know, it's gold, it's priceless.